What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. Hope everybody's having an awesome day, man. Guys, I've been busy. Y'all know football started, school started. So I'm sorry I hadn't been able to upload as frequently, but it is what it is, guys. Before we get into it, I do have to give a shout out to the sponsor real quick. So I'll be right back. Thanks to U4GM sponsorship, they are pro and legit web with over 6,400 comments on Trustpilot, offering cheap college football 25 coin with instant delivery and 100% safe. If you're interested, check the link in the description and use my coupon code DM for 5% off. All right, by now, okay, I'm pretty sure you guys have already, um, <clears throat> excuse me, heard about the updates. Me personally, I've briefly heard about them, so this will be my first time actually reading through, seeing what it's going to be about and I'm going to give my take on everything. So campus auto gameplay included eight new shotgun formations to total uh, to a total of 35 teams, a uh, bunch quads open known as diamond quads. That's cool. Added the teams including Texas Tech and Western Michigan, uh, Deuce Twins over Buffalo and Toledo slot F wing NC State Liberty. But first of all, I mean, Y'all, this is what we get with a live service game. This is, I like that. I like that. Because during the 2014, NCAA 14, we wouldn't have got stuff like this. Like, the game that we got would have been the game that we got. But they can improve the game. I like that. Split pro far uh, and near. Uh, tight wild flex. Wing halfback weak close. Wing slot over. Uh, tuning and logic enhancements to pursuit angles. That's a big one. A lot of people have been complaining about them. Um, I kind of just ran with it. Like, I've noticed it. Pursuit angles weren't that good. Um, but they fixed it. They fixed it. So, it is what it is. Uh, introduce new behavior that further differentiates players with high pursuit ratings versus low pursuit ratings. And that's good, as it should be. Uh, pursuit is a, it's a, it's, it's a big deal. Uh, dev note. We will monitor feedback on how this change impacts gameplay and based on results could make further adjustments in future title update. That's big, man. That's big. And this is this is why, like, when people trash the game, I'm like, bro, just let EA know what the problem is. It, I, I get it if it was like the NCAA 14 game. Where you didn't have those live updates and all that kind of stuff, man. The game you got is the game you got. But guys, like to ooh, like bro, just email them, let them know, hey, this is buggy, this needs to be fixed, kind of deal. And if it's logical, man, they'll fix it. Uh, reduce frequency of broken tackles from trailing defenders. Yeah, that 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 was a thing. Uh, fix various instances of rare broken play bugs. <laughs> Y'all, I hear I'm, I'm wondering in my split in my beer and shoot playbook. <laughs> I don't think it was a broken play. I mean, it's just one of those the safety bites and you just hit them over the top. I don't know. We'll we'll get into the game and see um, how this affects it. I'm, I'm trying to make sure. Let me. I'm trying to make sure that my my update is downloaded because my console was off. I've been at work all day and. I don't think it's started to update, so we're going to have to update it. Uh, fix the issue where certain formations had offensive players aligned too wide or too light. Too... Fix the issue where certain formations had offensive players aligned too wide when on the near or far hash. Uh-oh. All right, it's three gigabytes, and look, that's mine's is almost done. A couple of seconds left. Good deal. Uh, fix the issue where you could not use the 425 or 335 formations in a custom playbook. Fix the issue where single back formations would be assigned the wrong name when creating a custom playbook. Uh, they fixed the issue where spiking the ball in online modes was not working as part of the Turbo Tempo system. Fix the issue. So a speed option running back will follow their quarterback longer. That's that's big. I noticed that in some of my playthroughs. Um, adjusted. No. Yeah. Where was we at? Adjusted AI QB behavior on shot plays to make more lob throws versus bullet passes. Adjusted AI QB behavior to be less aggressive based on awareness rating. Yeah, because you, you would have some 
some weak quarterbacks. I'm like, man, this quarterback ain't even that good. But that boy, hey, they be tearing you up out there, man. Adjusted AI offensive line behavior resulting in less illegal man downfield penalties during RPO style plays. I didn't get this a lot. I really didn't. It happens sometimes. But I, I and I, y'all, I run a lot of RPOs. I didn't notice it. Uh, dev note for best chances at success, make sure you press the icon of which receiver you want to throw to before the running back receives the ball. I don't do that. I ride mine out. Let's get it. Adjusted the DB's ability to more effectively shed blocks on perimeter. That helps in the run game. Increase the speed penalty for running out of stamina during play. Uh, I hadn't had that issue. Uh, QB scrambles behind the line of scrimmage will lose stamina at a faster rate. That's I don't, why. I, I don't know why. One thing I don't like is that it takes the quarterbacks forever to build up speed. And you can have a quarterback with like 91 acceleration. But it seems like when they're in the pocket, they don't build up speed. And to me, that's extremely annoying because you watch guys like, Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson, these mobile quarterbacks and stuff. And it's like, why in the heck are are they not? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go to um, make sure I go to practice because I know. I know that uh, some of these, or from, you know, from what I've heard, some of these updates don't take place on, on you'd have to restart your dynasty so i'm not the, even the smu dynasty guys which i'm three years in we've already won a national championship i consider that rebuild done uh but i am going to uh restart all of my dynasties which that's fine you know it is what it is at this point okay um where are we at? Fixed an exploit where players would leave a quarterback contained, player unblocked, and run around them. Dev note. We will make further improvements to quarterback contained in future title updates. Good. Increase the reward a player receives for shading inside or outside correctly in man coverage versus passing routes. That is, And, and this is probably a big deal because uh, I have seen people talking about the secondary. And, and this is one of those fixes that can help that. Adjusted false start chances when you make pre-play adjustments late in the play clock. I, this has happened to me several times. I'm like, bro, why are we false starting? Fix an issue where run fit defenders were not responding as effectively to Wildcat run plays. So Wildcat ain't going to be that OP no more. Made an adjustment to the Wildcat unbalanced motion zone play. Reduced the effectiveness of multiple laterals in a single play. Adjusted the threshold required to receive the most effective juke or spin moves. Adjusted the threshold to require, require to receive the most. So did they adjust it to where you got to be higher? I wonder. Adjusted press animations to be more of an effective counter to the takeoff ability. Good deal. Good deal. Because that takeoff ability is dope and, and DBs be getting beat. Updated pass protection mechanic to only include the running back in the protection if they are already on a block or block and release assignment. Uh, as far as abilities go, updated the coloring of the platinum tier abilities to further distinct the look between silver. Rebalance the gold and platinum tiers of the juke and spin abilities like 360 and sidestep. Yeah, because people was going out of control with that. Rebalance the platinum tier of the exterior extender ability, which includes not firing on quarterback designed run plays slightly rebalance the effectiveness of the gold and platinum tiers of the quick jump ability additionally we made adjustments to the tier levels found on the texas front uh seven and then we have dynasty here which is big that's what a lot of people play the game for fix the issue where players were unable to have more than 20 creative coaches that didn't affect me didn't do any online yet various fixes around score summaries and box scores uh, various fixes for news stories. Introduced a new playoff bracket screen. Oh, I want to see that. Updated Texas-Oklahoma rivalry data. Uh, discovered that FCS Southeast, Midwest, and Northwest were secretly using professional players and passing them off as collegiate players. Dude, I love their sense of humor on this. And some, some you know, some Karen is going to read this. Or Kevin, I guess that's the male version of Karen. They're going to read this and be like, <laughs> I'm glad you think it's all fun and games. We play 70 balance for the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, shut up. 
You know what I'm saying? Get, 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 hit the portal, Jack. Get your point Dexter button the portal, bro. We ain't got time for all of that. Let these guys crack jokes. They're making the game better. People complained about stuff, and in less than a week, the game ain't even been out a month. And they've already worked or have shown progress or have fixed a lot of the stuff people was complaining about. So, you know what I'm saying? Kudos to them. Uh, it says here, gave them sanctions and ensure they are now using properly rated players. Dev note, for this change to go into effect, you will need to create a new dynasty. So, this is one that you have to create a new dynasty for. Me personally, I didn't have any issues with these teams. I don't see them. I play my games. For the most part, so yeah. Uh, fix the issue where wear and tear did not recover for FCS teams, resulting in a high number of FCS team injuries during gameplay. I was wondering why that happened. And it's cool that they even received it during their seasons, but yeah. Reduce dynamic attendance penalties for playing FCS teams. In interesting. Increased dynamic attendance in rivalry games, so they increased it. I don't know. My rivalry games be packed, so I don't know. Return toughest places to play formula to reduce the impact that large stadiums have on toughest places to play and increase the value of filling the stadium and winning games at home historically. That's good. So basically, it was saying it was, it was kind of set up uh, to where the more people in there Reduce impact of raw crowd size. Uh, Destiny 2 got an update. Interesting. Increase impact of historical win rate. Increase impact of attendance rate. Cool. That's That all ties with that. Updated right hand panel in stadium atmosphere grade on my school screen to accurately reflect the toughest places to play at all times. That is cool. I like that quality of life right there. Increase the accumulation of pride stickers, particularly for defensive players and offensive linemen. Reduce the chance to transfer penalty for players rated below 90. Okay, updated coach talents on Wyoming offensive coordinator. Dev note for this change to go into effect, you'll need to create a new dynasty. So if you want the FCS teams to be better or not as good, and the, the West Virginia, no, the Wyoming coach, you need to restart your dynasty for those. Uh, this one too. Defensive schemes and playbooks for the following teams have been updated. Yeah, buddy. USC, UCLA, Mississippi State, Texas Tech. Yeah, because I, I don't know if they had them running a 4 2 5 or not. UConn, Miami, Memphis, Nevada, North Carolina. Nobody cares about North Carolina except Mr. Wilson and his uh, liver mush. Notre Dame, Oregon State, San Jose State, TCU, Texas A&M, Troy, and UMass. Updating your coach's playbook, and that you got you gotta restart your dynasty for that, guys. Updating your coach's playbook and the schemes and playbook screen will now update your team scheme and should be reflected in team needs. So it hasn't been affected in team needs. I've been running a beer and shoot. That okay. Wow. I never even noticed that that wasn't being uh reflected. That's that's extremely interesting right there. That's some that's some uh high level stuff right there. Um let me see. What's the next one? Fix the issue where offensive linemen would appear in the preseason Heisman watch in future seasons. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I kind of don't like that the main ones winning the Heisman is the quarterbacks. Um, updated the Heisman watch logic to reduce the value of receiving TDs. Bro, because my, I ain't going to lie, in the veer and shoot, my receivers would win the Heisman every year. Uh, so recruiting, big one. Dev note, our primary goal in this update were to remove most of the recruiting strategies that were discovered during early access and to smooth out the pain points our players were reporting. Recruiting is a delicate balance as we want to try and make things as realistic as possible while also allowing players to live out their football fantasies. With that in mind, we decided to introduce additional recruiting logic and balance changes. So, they fixed the issue where teams were pursuing too many quarterbacks in high school recruiting, reduced the number of under unrecruited four and five stars early in the season. Uh, yeah, because you do have a lot of four and five stars that really hold out to the last minute, and I guess they they making that they're they're making that into the game. Increase the number of players that the AI will pursue at one time. Dev note, the above changes strive to decrease the number of players that go unrecruited. 
okay until late in the cycle while also slightly reducing how aggressive the ai could be with those recruits once they start to recruit them our goal is to deliver a fun but balanced recruiting experience that feels rewarding to all players we will monitor the impacts of these changes have on the overall recruiting experience and continue to adjust as needed i don't think that'll affect the way that i recruit i've never used one of those strategies like i you know uh visits fix the issue where you cannot schedule visits thank you thank you because i've missed out we've all missed out on several recruits uh because of the the, the that bug uh fix the issue where visits remain scheduled but even if a recruit was removed from a board fix the issue where the allowed number of visits scheduled for a week to exceed four uh that's good tune visit influence effects uh removed initial influence when scheduling a visit increased disparity between winning and losing a game during a visit increase the disparity that's good tune the logic for game stakes to better account for ranked teams cool increase the penalty for choosing a visit activity that the team does not have a high grade in or the players not interested in good super sim <clears throat> don't really use that but whatever increase handoff rate for simulated rpos to increase the number of running plays across the country especially for the teams with a lot of rpos in their playbook Various tuning fixes to increase the gap between good and bad teams slash players. Dev note, we're going to continue to monitor the simulation results to ensure that teams and, excuse me, and players are performing within expected ranges, including reducing frequency of upsets based on preseason projections and expected win totals. Uh, gosh, there, this is a long update. Polls, increase the loss penalty for schools with more than one loss. That's good. Because I wanted you to have like a four loss team be ranked number one in the nation. It's crazy. Increase the weighing of conference prestige in the poll calculation. So you're, what you're not going to see is a bunch. Because, I mean, everybody's seen it. Everybody's seen it, including myself. You would see teams from the Mountain West. and These teams that normally don't be ranked that high, be ranked super high. They're in the play. It's like, eh, man, this is kind of weird. So they fixed that to where, you know. Conference prestige does play a big factor. Uh, reduce the variance in college football poll logic versus media slash coaches. Dev note, as with other systems mentioned above, we will continue to monitor the poll system to ensure that it strikes a balance between realism and reward for players. So this isn't something you have to restart your dynasty for. Me personally, guys, I'm going to just start a whole new dynasty. Custom conferences and schedules. Uh, you can come back and read that or pause and read that. I'm not going to go into detail about that because I don't really use that. Uh, Road to Glory, I haven't even touched that. Like, I've barely played Road to Glory. I'm going to have to start one soon. Uh, add an additional scenario and NIL content. Oh, that's cool. Fix rare issue where you'd get a scenario reward screen that did not align with your, what you received and bonuses. I'm going to go back and read that later. Y'all can pause and read the Road to Glory stuff. Uh, college Ultimate Team, same thing. I'll sit it here. You can pause and read that. I don't think a bunch of y'all are. Uh, oh, presentation. Let me read this because I am interested to see this. Uh, because that studio update, man, I wish they would add an actual cutscene for it. Added new uniform pieces mm. for Baylor, Oregon. Oregon should have way more uniforms than what they have in the game. Iowa State, Ole Miss, Vanderbilt, Bowling Green, Northwestern, Utah, Boise State, New Mexico State, Appalachian State, Texas State, Louisiana, New Mexico, and South Alabama. Adjusted uniform pieces for the 2024 season. For TCU, Arkansas, Missouri, and Baylor. I'm going to have to look at this. Various improvements made to teams' uniform pieces for authenticity. Updates have been made to the following stadiums. The Holiday Bowl. Texas State probably finally got their upper deck. Kansas got their um, their renovation renovated stadium into the game. Kennesaw State. Interesting. I want to see that. Oklahoma State, Wake Forest, UL Monroe, and Nebraska. They got, oh, they got the updates. This is so cool. This is why I love it. They tell y'all they're going to be doing this, and then they're doing it. Fix the issue where the USC mascot would disappear during the open ceremony. Fix the issue where the incorrect mascot would appear during different situations. Uh, like create a team. You got Clemson's Tiger out there. Restored opening chance for Penn State. <gasps> FSU and Tennessee. Oh, that's Xbox Series X. Road to the college football playoff. I don't really play that. So, I'm here in practice mode. I want to see 
if uh, <laughs> I want to see if they have patched. Is this gonna affect my 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 beer and shoot? I'm just gonna put them in a random playbook, buddy. Let's see here. We'll we'll, we'll run it a couple of times to see. Uh, no, it's still there, baby. It's still there. So guys, that ain't a bug, buddy. That is not a bug. That's just straight up beer and shoot for your butt, man. And this is why that offense is so dangerous. Dangerous. And it's on Heisman. Russ. There we go. Got him, coach. Nah, I didn't put too much. I didn't put enough mustard on that ham sandwich. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Check, 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 check. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even check my blocking on that. I'm just trying to see, you know, how many times my guys. Look at that. Wide open. Let's go. So that that is not a bug, man. That's just a blown coverage. All right. That's cool that they, uh, my beer and shoe still going to be dangerous. I don't run that play. A lot. I've adapted my variant shoot. I need to update y'all on that. But I do want to go and check out, while I have y'all here, some of the uh, changes in the uniforms. And primarily, look, I got my high schools, the high schools in there. Dangerfield. What Dangerfield doing in the Ds? Um, I want to see Kansas Stadium, but I'm interested, Paul Pewitt, baby, the Brahmas. Brahmas is what we call them. I'm interested to see Oregon. What did they add to Oregon's uniforms? Uh, oh, they put them in the game? Yes, sir. They put the new unis in the game. Stand up. They put the new unis in the game, dog. Oh, I hate the way the uniforms look on this screen. I know in game, them suckers look dope. 2024 game jerseys, bruh. We got to scroll back up and look and see what all teams have uniforms. Um, uh, let's see. Oregon. Oregon is the main one I'm looking at. That is, oh, man. That is that is sick. I know that looks so good in game, bruh. The 2024 Fly Era jerseys. These are the ones. Oh, man. I, I, I need to back up. I need to back up. I need to back up. We need to go here. Home gang. Home gang green. Away almighty green. Oh, Oregon looking stupid with the Donald Ducks tees on. That is the one that we saw on Twitter, man. That's going to be in the game. It's already in the game. Let's go. Okay, let's go, Oregon. Who is next? Baylor? I don't think Baylor. Baylor, I was never impressed with Baylor's uh, uniforms. I don't know what they added to Baylor. Um... I really don't know what they added to Baylor's current home. I mean, current away. I don't think they added anything to Baylor's. Maybe these. I, I didn't even. I've never looked at Baylor in the game. Maybe these uniforms weren't in the game before. <gasps> Maybe that's the one that they added. Oh, looky there, Baylor. Might need to play with y'all boys. Current away option. Current alternate. Current second alternate. Alternate. Okay, Baylor. Okay, Baylor. I'm impressed. Ole Miss, Vanderbilt, Bowling Green, Northwestern, Boise State, New Mexico State. Appalachian State. Interesting. Let's look at App State. I'm not concerned with the mother games. Y'all going to look at them at y'all's time. Uh, Appalachian State. Let's see what they got in the uni department. I don't know if they got anything different. That looks the same. Uh, maybe it's the alternate jersey. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't see. I never looked at their jerseys to begin with. So I'm not sure right there. Current home option. Current away option, current home option two. Maybe that's what it was. The home option two, I have no clue. Home option three, four. I mean, that's just different jersey color combinations. It's not anything. So, uh, you, uh, stadiums. I do want to go and say, first let's go look at, because they said updates haven't made to the following stadiums. I do want to go look at Kansas because that that's probably the biggest one. Um Let's go take a look at Kansas real quick and see. I will, I, why can't you change the stadium, dude? I don't get that. That's weird to me. That in play now, I can't change to whatever stadium. I want to see their, their renovations. If they, Oh, they got the lights up there and all that kind of cool stuff. We're just going we to skimmy through that real quick. Uh, we'll do the head gumming. I hate doing kickoff first. They got the light. That looks really weird, bro. I don't know. I, I didn't. I hadn't seen Kansas Stadium 
in the game to know. I, I think they did make the stadium smaller. Um, but I don't know. I like it. What do y'all think about it? Let's let's look at it in instant replay so we can look at the stadium. Oh man, come on, Noah Thomas, yah yah yah, from Pearland, Texas. All right, let's look at it. Instant free bleed. I don't remember what the stadium looked like before. I can't. I, I for the life of me cannot remember, bro. And that's crazy. It's, it's amazing. I know this is the renovations because of the lights. Um, that is something that that I have noticed uh, from the the previous build. But I mean, yeah, it's all right. Nothing impressive to me. I'm not a big Kansas Jayhawk fan or anything like that. So. Um, yeah, I am excited. I am going to start a new dynasty. Um, I hope that a lot of y'all will too, man. It's going to be very interesting. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section down below, guys. I do plan on live streaming maybe Sunday. Uh, we have practice tomorrow, painting the field. Uh, maybe Saturday we got a light practice and Sunday. Maybe so maybe this weekend we'll live stream, guys. Hey, I appreciate y'all that have been sticking around and supporting the channel and stuff like that. I got I'm on my schedule, man. So, you know, I'm gonna set up I'm gonna have a set schedule for uploads and I'll get y'all that information at a later time. But I appreciate y'all, man. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.